the world i see him setting trends and this is a very aquarius thing i don't mean to toot our own horns but we do have a lot of we have a lot to work on aquarius but once we work on ourselves and we number one learn to accept that we're just we're different we're just made to be different you know we're not made to be like other people we're not made to have a regular path in life we often set trends you know um you'll see a Tara, my name is Hali, so grateful to have you all. Um, let's get right into the reading. I'm doing three updates on your favorites. Well, the last one, I don't know if it's a favorite, but I decided to do that because people have been asking me what's going on with her. So first, I'm doing Harry Styles. The second, Selena Gomez. The third is Miley Cyrus. Let's get into it. I will have timestamps up. As always, I premiere, I premiere these first for members. I have two memberships. One is tons of like interactive stuff you i post about it so check out the membership tab i don't want to go too much into it because i don't want the intro to be long but the second membership is if you want to learn tarot I do a live every week just for learning tarot it is interactive with that member with the members for that specific tier so check it out okay um let's get into it i have pre-shuffled the cards i'm using the crystal magic tarot i mean loving using this deck and we're going to start with harry Styles. okay so Four of Wands, the strength, temperance. Interesting. So I see a celebration of sorts. Four of Wands is often related to marriage, but I don't necessarily see marriage here. I feel like it's kind of a marriage of self. And I know that sounds very um, cliche, you know, um, but I think a lot of Aquarius, we have this, his son is an Aquarius, so I can relate to my son is an Aquarius too. Our charts are very similar. I say this all the time. I think that's why I relate to him a lot. But especially with the temperance, I feel very strongly that he is a lot of Aquarius. Our downfall, especially February Aquarius, we're very much people pleasers. And when I was younger, I think a lot of Aquarius go through this. When I was younger, I used to people please a lot and it used to really upset me when people didn't like me. I moved back to New York and New York cured me of that. <laughs> I no longer care what people think about me <laughs> because New York is very, I wouldn't say cutthroat, but New York, um, it really enhances you or I'm trying to put this into the right sentence, but it pushes your authentic self forward you know every time i go back and i'm going back soon every time i go back and i ride the subway i'm just i feel surrounded by and i, I do hopefully plan on moving back that's another story <laughs> for another day <laughs> but what i love about new york is that you are you and i'm so grateful that i had that experience as an aquarius because i didn't feel boxed in i think a lot of other places i currently live in miami and one of the things that i have a criticism of living here is that people can be very what do you wear you know la is like that very much too but new york if you get an eight dollar dress and it's i used to wear this eight dollar vintage dress and i would compliment it all the time because it wasn't about the label it wasn't about this it wasn't about that it was just that they like your style so i only say that to say i feel like being in new york really pushed forward that pushed aside that need to please and harry him being in this energy right now of strength of post olivia of olivia saying things to people about him you know all these people judging him it's pushing his authentic aquarius self forward and i think every aquarius goes through it some succumb the bitter, I feel like uh, I've met a lot of bitter Aquarius that succumb to people's judgment and what they think of them. 
and end up being very bitter and it develops like a narcissism and kind of like a it's like a jadedness within an Aquarius but I think all Aquarius especially Sun Moon and Venus need to accept that you are who you are as long as you're not doing harmful things to people and you are living a good life you're living a respectful honest life be you and be authentically you and i see him learning that i just get that energy so with the world i see him setting trends and this is a very aquarius thing i don't mean to toot our own horns but we do have a lot of we have a lot to work on aquarius but once we work on ourselves and we number one learn to accept that we're just we're different we're just made to be different you know we're not made to be like other people we're not made to have a regular path in life. We often set trends, you know. Um, you'll see a lot of Aquarius, Paris Hilton is like that. Oprah, a lot of Aquarius, we set the trend and then other people want to be like us, you know. And he's like that too. He's very, we tend to be artistic and creative and we'll be like, oh, let me do this. And then all of a sudden it becomes a style. So I see him setting a lot of trends and just being very innovative. And I see a lot of good coming. I said this before, and I'm not saying this to say this, I only read what the cards tell me, so I'm not here to toot his horn. But I said, when he releases the relationship with Olivia, very good things are coming to him. And the bottom of the deck is Wheel of Fortune. And I see him in the future, a lot of things going right for him. A lot of things. I see, like I said before, um, him involved in fashion, you know. Um, I see some more music coming out, but mostly steering his direction towards acting. But with acting, I see him actually going back to music after acting. And I think I've covered that before. But I think, and this is, it reminds me so much of Justin Timberlake, um, except <laughs> not a crazy about Justin Timberlake. <laughs> um i just i think the reason why he might go back to music and not act as much is because he can really be his true self you know aquarius we love to be our true selves once we and this is why i'm still single and this is why a lot of the time i just stay home and this and have friends like if a friendship comes into my life that i don't like or people come into my life actually i was telling my friend my sister this i was like my friend my sister this today um i was talking about how and this is a personal story so you can jump ahead if you don't want to listen but this does pertain to what i'm talking about about being an aquarius because a lot of you ask me what is it like being Aquarius?" i get a lot of questions and when i ever give examples of being an aquarius and why we are the way we are. Because we're very misunderstood, I think. I even misunderstood myself for a very long time. And through astrology, I can see, oh my gosh, this is why I am like this. But I was telling my friend today, I've dated and hung out with very famous people, but I only say that because I'll never release their names ever. I've made that promise to myself. Because when I did, one of the guys that I did date, when I was talking about the situation that when we started dating, I would talk about him amongst my peers, I used to work at EO studio and just people that I thought I could trust. And I learned very quickly, I cannot, especially living in LA, I couldn't trust a lot of people. So I stopped telling people if I dated somebody famous. In fact, I just stopped talking about my love life in general because I noticed that a lot of people will be in your life just to use you and Aquarius we do not like to be used in fact if we sense anybody using us it we cut ties this brings me back to this I think he saw through his journey and also being in LA that a lot of people were around him to use him and now that he's cut ties from Olivia and that lifestyle he has developed his strength that's why I got the strength card and with the Hierophant, Ten of Wands, and Page of Swords, he's willing to cut out anybody that is fake, that is nasty, that has nasty energy. He's just all about healing right now. And he's working on himself a lot, healing himself. And with Nine of Swords and the Judgment, 
he really feels like he just wants to be at peace you know and i think once aquarius can come to that realization in their lives that we don't have to be what other people want us to be in fact air signs are general aquarius gemini libra we don't have to be what other people want us to be and we don't have to conform to what we think others would like as long as we are our authentic selves and we live an honest life we do good we work hard we will naturally attract what is meant for us and he's seeing that right now and in the beginning of his next phase i always say this when he's 32 from 30 to 32 he's going to attract a lot of good a lot lots of good and this is an example especially for aquarius of how to really live life because it's so easy to get jaded you know and recently i had a situation um romantic situation that <sighs> did not end very well but i am not jaded and i decided just to focus on peace and love and healing and just wish people well you know um, doesn't mean that i have to be best friends with them but i don't have to harbor resentment because it was all meant to be and i'm telling you once of course we realize that it's a game changer so let's move on to selena she's done in cancer she's released a song i had an accurate prediction i said she's gonna release a song i said it's going to be more house-based which looks like it is um like i said more more like poppy house and it looks like it is and yeah i also said the visuals are going to be similar to look at her now and that seems like it has come true too so let's see what's going on with her okay so i when i was shuffling the cards i got the energy of like smiling you know um serenity i see sunflowers sunflowers are very flower and a lot of you know more I always say this reality stars are my stars. In fact, before this, I was watching um, this whole feud between Heather McDonald and Jeff Lewis. If you if you know about reality TV, um, that's what I focus on. <laughs> so regular celebrities that aren't really. It's not that I don't care about. It just doesn't get my attention the way reality TV does. <laughs> Or reality like bloggers and stuff like that because I just feel like reality stars are more upfront about who they really are or they try to hide it but always gets revealed so I got sunflowers I got um, bike riding I see bike riding and just being at peace you know so knight of cups nine of swords and king of crystals so I see here and I have seen this person before there's an elderly, elder man, excuse me, he's not elderly, but he's older than she is, older than she is. He wants to invest in her. And it's not romantic, it's business. This person might approach her as like a business manager, uh, king of wands and the justice. Interesting. But they can be very cutthroat. They can be very like, it's like this. They don't have a great delivery, you know? Um, but they do mean well. It's a crystal. So they're very successful and they've worked with a lot of people. Because I do see new management coming to the picture. I picked this since last year. I don't think she's particularly happy with how her branding is going. I see rebranding. Um, yeah, I see rebranding. I see new colors. I did say I see new colors and they have. she has introduced new colors from, colors from what I can see. I do follow lots of makeup on <laughs> Instagram. And I see some of the rare beauty being used. Um, so I see that. I see this guy coming forward who wants to help her. Who is older than her. And might be quite abrasive. And she's quite, she could be jarred by that. You know, she has sun and cancer. Sun and cancers can be quite sensitive to people's energies. So in the beginning, she might be like, this person is very abrasive um but he means well and he delivers results so two of crystals the wheel of fortune and oppression she i feel like even though she's manifested a lot she's done a lot in her life 
she still has this belief system and as we all do sometimes it comes up within me and i have to remind myself that i'm worthy you know that's why i listen to affirmations every day because it's important to remind ourselves that when we have success that we are worthy of it and i think she kind of feels guilty of some of the success that she has and because of that some of it has blocked future success and has attracted people like francia and other people that are um that make her feel bad for who she is and i honestly believe that francia was a fake friend you can have your own opinion of it even though she gave her a kidney i don't believe like i said i have people in my life that are famous you will never ever hear me talk about them even if things don't go well i think i owe it as that po like one i have one friend that i had well we're not friends anymore but i had a falling out with a friend who is famous and i've known him for a very long time um i will never say who it is i will never say what happened i will it publicly it just does not feel okay you know i feel like i'm betraying that person and so that's why i feel like francia is not an authentic friend because when you have an authentic friendship no matter what it is you don't do stuff like that you don't come out and say this person used me this person did. you just don't you know even i my, one of my exes is going through people are publicly bashing him right now but i won't join that bandwagon because i i just don't want to do it i feel like i don't i oh what we had more respect than that you know so a two of swords and page of wands she's going to see very clearly she's going to have like a breakthrough and realize that and we all do this i'm not saying that we attract things that are bad to us but i believe we attract what we allow you know so we often attract what we continue to allow in our lives and I think she's saying here, hey, I attracted these friends, I've attracted these people that are fake, I've attracted these people that lie to me. It's time for me to not be so nice. And that's the great thing about being 30. In your 30s, let me tell you, when I turned 30, something happened. I say 25 and 30 were big game changers because I learned to say no. I learned to stop caring what people think about me. I learned just, it's like an automatic thing that happens. You just don't care as much obviously there is a level that you should care about what people think of you but no one is the detriment of yourself your well-being and your future endeavors so i see her going through that path turning 30 and just being like you know what why do i give these people energy when they don't deserve it so that's what i have for you only wishing her the best please comment i would love to to say please be respectful as i always say you know you can have an opinion about somebody and their behavior just no name calling, please. Okay, look, lastly, Miley Cyrus, who recently, oh my gosh, she's so talented. She's very, very talented. Um, it's amazing how talented she is. So recently she had a new song. People say she's in a cult. I don't know what's going on. Um, let's see. Okay, so I do see her going on tour. People are like, why is she? I do see her going on tour. She's waiting for the right time um i get january could change because we have free will but i see january so now she's towards the universe and the hangman i think wow she's switching i don't think it's management oh it could be her tour manager but there's somebody who does things operationally for her that is no longer working for her there was conflict of interest and now they are no longer together they're no longer working with each, other, with each other so she has somebody new coming in the emperor who is very like to, 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 to the point and she needs that because she's a sun and sagittarius and sun and sagittarius are i have such a with gemini's and sagittarius i have a love-hate relationship with those two <laughs> i really really do i admire so many things about um sagittarius i think that they work mm, let me not say this 
they go after what they want i have i've had i think i might have told you guys the story if you have been watching this from the beginning but a lot of the time when i meet sun and sagittarius not a lot of the time but sometimes i'll meet a sun and sagittarius and if it's a man they'll be like you're going to be with me and i'm like mm. if it's a woman they're like you're going to be my friend and i'm like mm. as an aquarius i'm like that <laughs> don't <laughs> Don't assume, you know, because I still have a right. But they go for what they want. And I really appreciate that. On the other side of that, they can sometimes be too confrontational and not accept accountability on their own end. So with this guy, this guy's perfect for her who's coming in. This guy's perfect for her because he doesn't, think she's too brash or too blunt like sometimes Sagittarius will make jokes and you're like was that a joke or was that being mean you know but he won't take that personally other people will be like why she say that but he won't and he's gonna work with her especially Emperor energy is Aries energy which is fire energy and he'll make things happen and she's going to be very very happy seven of wands at the bottom of the deck very very happy with him with his results she moves she goes very fast very very fast and the way that she moves she needs to have somebody that gets that that can move at her speed um yeah oh wow and i see New love coming in. So new love coming in, two of wands, strength, two of cups. And I wish her well with this. I hope it goes well. Um, fire of wands, page of wands, lots of fire energy. This person might be a, wow. This person might be a Leo that's coming in. So Sagittarius and Leo can really work. <coughs> I always say this. I think Sun and Sagittarius, the best um, complement compatibility is Aquarius. I really, really believe that um because aquarius both of us sun and aquarius sun and sagittarius both of us have this dreamer and we put forward action to make it happen um but also aquarius and sagittarius love freedom so it can work with the fire sign but sometimes it can clash because both want it their own way so that's what i have for you i love you all thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and comment.